Welcome to this week's episode of the One Up News presents to a console near you, brought to you by YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. Thank you, Pete. Um, you know who we are, Jeremy Bird, biggest Zelda fan in the world, coming at you once again. If you don't believe me, there's a tattoo of the Triforce on my arm. I'm joined with my two best friends in gaming. First, to my left, he only has the best hat, Mr. Fedora Man himself, the host with the most, Pete Anderson. You know, you said that it was a weird outfit, but was it really weird, or do I just look dapper as hell? No, it's weird. It's, it's weird. It's, 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 weird. Definitely it's, weird. it's weird. It's definitely weird with the hat, the Ninja Turtle shirt, and what the fans don't see, the shorts. <laughs> you leggy son. Who we'll wears short shorts? <laughs> I wear short shorts. Jesus Christ. And to my right, he only has the best ponytail in the business. It's, it's fabulous. All right. God damn it. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas. How's it going tonight, everybody? Oh, man. And yes, it is tonight. It's always tonight. And it will always be tonight. Forever and always. Wait, what are you talking about tonight for? Last week. When you asked me, is it tonight, Nick? Really? I completely <laughs> forgot about that, honestly. <laughs> hey, you've got a memory of a fish. <laughs> I do. I do? No, I... No, he does. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have a memory of a... Like what, what has a nice... Me- a lion. A lion. An elephant? Right, Nobody the, says a lion. Everybody <laughs> says an elephant. He has a nice mane, you know, the ponytail. Oh, Come okay. On. All right. Come on, put one. Well, clearly, they're in, for the uh, brains uh, category uh, or a uh, dog. Uh, uh, he uh, took a dirt. He took a dirt. Oh, God. But coming out this week for the week of March 13th. Oh, yeah, we're a gaming show. To the night. I'm smack you. Is there another page? No. <laughs> They calm down for once, yeah. From the March 13th to the 19th, come out this week. Right. First off, fuck you, PC gamers, on this title. HTOL, hashtag NIQ, the Firefly Diary for PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo, woo, woo. I, what? That's what, it, that's what it is. Well, this is a walking simulator. Shut up. <laughs> that, I don't know what that's called, but it's not a hashtag. I don't care. No. What we see? It, I mean, yeah, it's called the hashtag today, but there's an actual word for it's it. It's a Pound it's sign. Pound. No, it's not pound sign. There's an actual word for that. It's kind of like doc, it's doc hack sign kind of Yeah, some, some shit like that. Yeah, it's it's not. Me. You ever played the doc hack series back on PS2? I did. No, I never played it. I got a kick out of it. Yeah, it was not bad, right? It wasn't bad. The, the TV show sucked, but. Did it? The TV there was show a TV was show terrible. Yeah, yeah. The anime was terrible. Mm-hmm. The game wasn't bad. Yeah, but that comes out March 14th. Um, we also have EA Sports UFC 2 coming out for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Ronda Rousey. Well, there's been a big hype around this one because apparently um, they've been they've been tweaking it, trying to fix it up, trying to get it ready for um, ready for the gamers because there was a huge complaint about the original EA Sports UFC. People were not happy with with a lot of the it, aspects of the game. It was glitchy too. Like you literally could end up getting stuck. Like, say you're fighting on the wall, on the wall of the cage, if you actually go through the cage and then glitch out. Yeah, so, so, so um, they've been tweaking it, trying to make it a little more combative, a little more, a little more entertaining for, for UFC fans. Um, unfortunately, they don't have the UFC kind of, uh, UFC doesn't have the same kind of gaming experience as like the wrestling WWE yeah. does and, and, and other sports franchises. So I think this is a comeback. Uh, we'll see how it goes, how it plays out. As you guys know, I don't like I fighting say, games or pro- sports he's games. He's promoting it. He's never going to play it. So. No, I, d- I don't like sporting games. Um, but this is that gray area where it's like a fighting game, but it's not. You know, so it gets really difficult to really say, well, I don't like that game um, versus, you know, Forza or, or, or FIFA or... NBA 2K or, you know. Um, so this is that gray area where it's like, well, you know, technically it's Street Fighter. Technically speaking. It's like what Street Fighter really would be if they were fighting in the streets. In an octagon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always played the UFC games. I'm not a huge fan, you know, but I do like tearing it up with uh, Silva and um, Forrest Griffin and all of them. Uh, Chuck Waddell back I, in the day. I always play as Matt Hughes. Matthews and animal. Uh, last year's was good. I enjoyed it, but yes, I saw the bug. So I'm interested in UFC too. But I have a lot of games coming out, and oh, it, uh, dude, 
<laughs> the games that are coming out that we're that we're waiting for is just like oh they're gonna keep God. us fucking they're gonna keep us entertained well, for a while for a long they, time. If you check out the let's play of the Uncharted beta, youtube.com slash improv gaming after I played the beta for a little bit, I start to talk about what games I'm getting, and during the video at the end I'm like, oh fuck, I'm getting a lot of games because I end up in the next two months I'm picking up six games. They're Jesus, don't watch this, don't watch that let's play. Watch the Lego Dimensions one. It's better. Anyway, so we also have Marvel. <laughs> Her feelings. Fuck you. Well, nobody wants to see your face forever. You gotta share some of his beautiful face with the people. Well, according this to face is not I'm actually gonna, on the I'm Lego Dimensions. I'm gonna light. touch it. I touched your face. Can I touch your other <laughs> face? You have to touch the other side. So we're both touching him at the same time. I, him, I'm okay with. I'm dreading to wear a thing where your hands have been. I gotta go wash my hands. <laughs> I'll puke on you. Okay, we also have Marvel Battlegrounds coming out for Xbox One, 360, PS3, PS4, PC Bro, and mm. Wii U. Woo woo, PC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry. I keep saying, <laughs> woo, woo, Wii U. This, this is the biggest advertisement I've seen on my phone whenever I watch YouTube videos, because it just keeps popping up. I mm -hmm. want to know what it is. I definitely want to check it out. So, it's like, I think it's, it reminds me of, um, um Marvel vs. Capcom. Like the three on three situation, mm -hmm. you pick your teams. You can battle with any Marvel character. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what I think it is. I could be wrong, but I've seen I thought I thought it was like um. What was that, was that other that other that other one? The Avengers, where where you're you're part of the Avengers. You're on Alliance. Um, alliance um, is it an Alliance Marvel where you play Marvel Ultimate? Yeah. Different, yeah, could be. I thought it was like that. Yeah. Maybe not. It looked pretty, so I definitely want to check that game. All right, now. nice, nice. Can't wait. Um, we also have Need for Speed coming out for PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo woo. Mixed reviews with this. Yeah. But my boys are really liking this game, and I will. I would like to play it, but I fucking hate racing games. So do I. Except Mario Kart. Except Mario Kart, but that's the that's the exception, not the rule. But um, I hear great stuff going over to PC. Go look tight. You know, customization. You can. My boy was spending three hours just tuning his car, even before he went out for a race. That's went out for a race and then went back, tuned it a little bit more. That's what I can't stand. It's is. for the car nut, this game. Yeah, yeah. And for the PC... Is it really? Because because it used to be Grand Theft... Or Grand Turismo was, was the yeah, car that nut was kind the... of game. Now is Need for Speed going in that direction? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Are they really? really? Look, the customization and everything, and it's just... It's insane. But you know what? I don't have the time or the patience for that. That's, that's, that's just why yeah, I'd rather it. something like Trackmania. Yep. Oh. Or we can just jump in and play. That comes out um, in like two weeks. Yeah, it's going to oh, be fun. Man. Love it. We also have um, Salt and Sanctuary coming out for PlayStation 4, Vita, and PC, bro. PC, bro. Woo -woo. I don't know anything about Salt and Sanctuary. Salt and Sanctuary. Shut up, Pete. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, basically, you throw Salt on a Sanctuary and you battle against zombies. There you go. I made up a game. You don't, you don't yell at him? Because <laughs> I don't make up stupid, retarded things. So. It was, I actually knew what the game was about. Alright, go know. ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you'll never know. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> he doesn't know what the game is. It's about. a JRPG. Yeah, is it? You gotta get up to so, and then you can go, damn, he was right. Yeah. No, he did that to me last week. So. A doomed sailor is shipwrecked in an uncharted island in fog shrouded valleys where grinning, mostly mossy corpses cling to rusted arms, shambling figures begin to stir. Beneath crumbling, salt-worn structures, labyrinthian pathway, passageways led to unspeakable evil long forgotten by man. Salt and Sanctuary seamlessly combines fast, brutal, and complex 2D combat with richly developed RPG mechanics. Discover, craft, and upgrade over 600 weapons, armor pieces, spells, and items as you explore a cursed realm of forgotten cities, blood soap, dungeons, discreet... Dungeon. Yeah, whatever. Desecrated monuments and the fallen lords they once celebrated. From Ska Studios, the world's winning indie studio behind a long list of stylistic, visceral, and brutal, brutally executed action titles that include The Dishwasher, the Dishwasher, Vampire Smile, The Dishwasher, Dead Samurai, and Charlie Murder. Come Wait, salt Dishwasher, Samurai, is that like The one Dishwasher, word? S Vampire Smile is one title. Oh. The Dishwasher, Dead Samurai is another title. And Charlie Murder is a third title. And S Come Salt and Sanctuary, the studio's most ambitious title to date. So it's an indie title. There you go. That's an RPG. Thank you very much. I fucking... You threw fucking darts. <laughs> you threw darts, dude. <laughs> Technically, you said it's a JRPG, and those are two different things, but... That's very true. You're welcome. <laughs> Who side are you on? 
I'm in the middle, bitch. Um, ba next we have um, Samurai Warriors 4 Empires coming out for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Vita, and uh, that's about it. So you played one, you played them all, play Hy War Hyrule Warriors instead. Better game. Legends is coming out, too. Legend looks fucking beautiful. I'm and by the way, if you guys haven't gotten um, Twilight Princess HD yet, go get that shit. The game is amazing. Is it? You're doing it? Oh, my God. Better with the gamepad? Thank f Or you can play with the Pro Controller. Can you play with the GameCube controller? No. They wouldn't. Oh. I was like, why did you fuck this? Yeah, no. That's that good. That would have been great. That would have sold me right there. I the plugged GameCube. it in and it said, yeah, I plugged it in and it didn't go. I'm like, oh. The pro controller is the same thing. Yeah, but oh my god, playing without the fucking Wemo controls is a godsend. <laughs> Love it. We also have, uh, oh, here we go again. Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo coming out for Xbox uh, One, PS4, and PC, bro. PC, PC bro. bro. Woo, woo. Woo. Um, who the fuck is Sebastian Loeb? I don't know. He <laughs> was a Dutch dictator. Dutch dictator. Continue. Yeah, we're looking um, it up, but yeah, like... Dutch, uh, he's a Dutch dictator, which... Um, it's a dick nickname. Basically, it's a real-time strategy where the people of Dewitchian have Christ. to take down his empire. Oh, it's a racing game. Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo is a video game developed by Milestone, who had previously re released the official WR series from 2010 to 2013. WR means world racing. It's also a racing game. Yep. Racing it's game. It's an RTS would, racing you game. You were not even close, Pete. You ever played Brutal Legends? Like that. Yes. Brutal Legends is actually really good. I so Sebastian it. Loeb. Really? Yeah. Sebastian Loeb is an actual rally car racer that put... So it's basically like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's only not shitty. Sebastian Loeb is the rally racer. Nice. So people who are fans of rally racing would probably enjoy that Sebastian Loeb has a game. Nice. Also, we have a Dungeon of the Endless coming out for Xbox One. Dungeons of the Endless? Yep. These are where you go into dungeons. And, and they're endless? Yeah, basically, every it's time you go into an, a dungeon, it's recreated. And you never play the same dungeon Excuse twice. <laughs> dungeon of the Endless is a port over to Xbox One. Nice. Because um, it's already on Steam, it's already on PC Gamer, and it already has a 4 to 5 on Metacritic. Cool. Uh, dungeon of the Endless is a roguelike like <laughs> tower... Defense game developed by Amplitude Studios and released in October 2014 for Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X systems. August 2015 iOS devices and with a planned Xbox One release in 2016. Which is... So it's a, it's a tower defense game. Nice. So it's like, um, it's probably, I would say it is a console's answer to um, MOBAs. Never, to what? To MOBAs. Never played it. No, MOBAs. Type yeah, but you could have Smite Ow. as that for Xbox huh? One. Smite. Yeah, that for Xbox One. Yeah, well, I'm just saying that they're porting another one saying, over. I'm, I'm just saying. Just saying. Oh, <laughs> I'm, well, I was just saying. Okay. Well, What's you, next? Did you, did you, you just interrupted me. How dare you interrupt yeah, me? How dare you? <laughs> I, I have something to say. I'm sorry. No, I just want to get this point out. No, it's no, very I have Shut up, Charles. I'm, I'm Peter. I'm no, Peter. No, I really I need to say, I just need to say, I really just need to say this point really quickly, all right? Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to the next game coming out this week. Oh my god. Pokemon Tournament coming out for Wii U. <laughs> this is a first person shooter. <laughs> I'll, I'll punch you in the face. In the Pokemon universe. This this is po actually... Pokemon and Tekken f combined into one game. Fucking love it. The roster looks amazing. One of the games I'm going to be playing at Evo. I haven't figured out my character yet because I haven't played it, but... Who are you looking into? Um... I think Gengar looks fucking awesome. Fuck yeah, when definitely. I saw him. Definitely Gengar. Charizard um, looks, of course. Charizard. I'm probably gonna have to go with Pikachu too, even though it's gonna be the like, regular or the Ucha Pikachu. Fuck the fuck the Ucha Pikachu. I hate that shit. But yeah. no, it just looks amazing. Get your own controller for it, which a lot of games don't normally do that for like mm -hmm. a new fighter. But definitely, definitely want to play that. It's like because it's got the main roster and it's got the assist characters, which looks absolutely amazing. I'm um, sure with like Lapras and everything with that. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely a must have game. And what I'm also excited for is Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. It's a um, port to Xbox One. Shantae was a very was a game that came out on the Game Boy Color, I believe, or Game Boy. No, it's Game Boy Color came out. It's a very rare game, and it got I think it's the second or is the third game in the series. Second game. Okay, I was right. So the second game in the series, I played that game, and the port looks absolutely amazing. Basically, instead of having your genie powers, you end up getting pirate powers in this game from 
your rival, who was, uh, her name is Risky Boots. Definitely play the game. You get a kick out of it. And She's Asian? No. She's, a, she's, she's Egyptian. She's a genie. Yeah, I'm racist, but no. She's a, she's a genie. Definitely play. It's a lot of fun game. It's a definitely a must-have game if you're an old-school Nintendo fan who likes ports on the newer consoles. So, now that they can get the third game out on there, definitely I'll get that. Just don't ever buy Shantae hard disk. Hard, don't buy the cartridge. It's too expensive. Game Boy Color game for like three hundred dollars. No. But this what, is the third title. The other one you were talking about was the second title. That's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, the original. I'm talking about the original Game Boy game. Don't buy. Oh, if you're okay. looking into it, just just digitally download that shit. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Too expensive. But boy, do we have an exciting week coming up? What let's play did you tell me? Because I straight up blanked on it. I have promised you. Weeks on end. Rainbow Six Siege, with my buddy, Mount Crushmore, is coming on Tuesday. Mount Crushmore? Mm-hmm. That's nice. That's an awesome name. Isn't it? Mount Crushmore and Christmas. <laughs> you two are fucking old. <laughs> well, that's how we were getting referred to. In, but it's very cool. Uh, we play, the uh, mi- uh, not a mission, but we play a multiplayer map. He goes, he gives you guys strategies and tips. Uh, we play through it. We have a bunch of fun. Some of the shots are something to behold, so definitely check that out on Tuesday. Nice. And Nine... A.M. Eastern Time, which is when all our Let's Plays go up. And Thursday, um, I'm going to have part two of LEGO Dimensions. Which world will we be going to? you got to wait and see. And let me tell you something. I am not doing a Let's Play at all. Good. (laughs) As is tradition. I was going to say before you... Did you just just cut me off? Seriously, did you just interrupt me right now? Did you really? I had a very important point to make. (laughs) Fucking hell. (laughs) We're going to have my nephew back on LEGO Dimensions as part two again. Now, before we end this... Because I don't think we're going to talk about Did it you just the, interrupt me? <laughs> uh, Did you just interrupt me? Did fine. you just hit interrupt me? We'll talk about me? the Did awesome just... Civil War trailer that just came out. We'll talk about spores. This may outdo Batman Superman for me. No. Really? Yeah, really? I don't... It's not going to come close to Suicide Squad, but... It's, it's, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm more Suicide. excited for Suicide Squad than I am for anything else right now. Any I got... think Suicide Squad, I would have to say... Batman v Superman, but now I'm much more interested in Civil War. Than well, I was. I'm I'm more interested in Civil War than I than I was, but I already knew the information. I yeah. already knew that this was so going to happen. But to see it but, on screen, yeah, it looks nice. but it's still even like I understand what they're doing with with that with what we talked about. I don't want to spoil anything yeah. for anybody. Yeah, go but watch with, the trailer. But with what we talked about about the eyes, like I understand what they're doing, but at the same time, can they execute it? Because let me tell you, Deadpool pulled off superhero eyes fabulously. Yep. Fucking amazingly. They did it right. And the reason I'm excited for Suicide Squad above anything else is because if you look at Deadpool and the budget that they had compared to all these other big, big title releases, mm-hmm. Deadpool blew them out of the water. And Suicide Squad is on the same tier where they don't have the big budget that Superman v. Super, uh, Batman, Batman v. Superman. Batman v. Superman. Batman v. Batman v. Batman v. Batman v. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Dawn, s- that Dawn of Justice has. Um, I'm so I'm, I'm excited about the creativity that's going to go into that. Where, where Deadpool had such creativity that, that it just blew box office I'm, records. I'm excited for Civil War because I don't know what's going to happen at the ending. If you've read the comic books, you know what's going to happen. Batman v Superman looks really good. They're taking one of my favorite comics and like turning it into the new Justice League movie. But I'm just a little more excited for Civil War because I don't know what's going to happen to a particular character. I am not excited for Suicide Squad. I'm not. No? Because I'm not sold on Jared Leto. Not after what they, the bomb they dropped on Gotham this last week. If you watch episode 11 Those of are spoilers Gotham, spoilers right there. Watch episode if you 11. Watch Gotham. If you watch season 2 episode 11 of Gotham, shit just got real. Did it really? Did it? Really? Yes. I would have that. I I I've watched like the you last dangle? season. I had not watched the most recent stuff. Watch the most recent. I, I got to get into it. It, yeah, it blew it out of the water. The season yeah. is 10 times better than the first season. Oh nice. But nice. that's how it is. They got to do Yeah, yeah. Work. But also, we do have something very special. March 14th. The one year anniversary of Impop Gaming. That's tomorrow. Oh my god. Yeah, goodness. baby, yeah, baby. Tomorrow's our one year anniversary. A year with us, you motherfuckers. In this threesome that we've all. Uh... Ew. We're such <laughs> sluts. This child we adopted. This trio that we formed, my cohorts and I, the oh. best guys in gaming that I know. The best friends. Oh. How nice. This, no, this is this is finally one year that we've been doing this. It feels like it hasn't been that long, honestly. It really I mean, does. It really feels like it does. <laughs> no, 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 really, no. It really, no, no, no. It really, he, he, no, no. Like it really does feel like it just flew by. Like yeah. Like it feels like like like, I guess because we're having so much fun doing yeah. this that that everything is just kind of just 
blown right past. And we're just like, yeah, let's fucking do another one. And another one. And this is some ideas. Here's some ideas. Let's do this. Let's do that. It's just been fucking... We'll get into more when we wonder what we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, are we? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we got a couple great topics this time. We're going to be talking about anniversary edition games. Are they worth it? Do they really benefit to the gaming community? Or are they just a... Um, what was? What did you say? It was a, cash grab? Cash, cash grab or fan service there to the fans. Go. That's I couldn't think of the word. We also are going to talk about remasters slash reboots. And um, we're going to talk about gaming ports, which on this list we had a couple this week. Yeah, we did. And there was one last thing I can't believe I forgot I was going to say. Fuck. Make sure you check out yesterday's episode of What You Might Have Missed in Gaming, our new I hate you, show. Thing. I hate it. That we're... Do I go really? over... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I go over the biggest news of the week that came out, talking about... You could check out also the week before when I talked about... Um, the release date for No Man's Sky, the uh, the delay of Uncharted. I talk about that a little bit more in depth. So it's basically an all around. You need a nice news fill for the week. Come check that out. Like I said, it's called and patent pending. If you guys have a good name, let me know in the comments. Um, as I stand so right now. So it's like news. Yeah, it's one like, up, it's one, one, up one news. news. <laughs> it's one up news presents what you might have missed in gaming. I was for gonna, the week. I was gonna say that's awesome. And for the fans, because they've been asking. Wait a minute, this is episode 48. Why are you not 52? Because there's 52 weeks in the year. You go back in time, we used to do every episode every other week for the first two or three weeks. Yeah, two or three weeks and we then did we... every episode every other week. And then we missed a week because we were at Evo. Yep. And then another thing where we had uh, some technical difficulties. Then we had scheduling three conflicts. Three conflicts. Yeah, some, some... So basically... We'll get into it. We'll so yeah. basically it ended up, yeah, we're 50, 48 episodes in a year. I'll take it. Yeah, why not? But 48 episodes. We'll... S- We'll definitely see you guys tomorrow for... I think uh, we have, like, what, 218 videos? Almost 300. Almost 300 videos. <laughs> 200 <laughs> a year. We have, like, 218. 299, <laughs> as of now. Is it really 299? Like, yep. this is 299? This will be over 300. This will be over 300, this episode. Yep. yep. Holy shit. It's a lot of fucking videos, yep. man. <laughs> one year. <laughs> In one oh, year. <laughs> Next year, we're going to hit 365. <laughs> a full year. But we'll see you tomorrow for the one-year anniversary, guys. And as usual, game, game on. on. Every second starts now. Welcome to Nick Takey Issues. I'm Jeremy.